It was not so long ago when some white people were stocking up on groceries in preparation for war. Some amongst us prepared themselves to drive white people into the sea. Also, some of which I was part of prepared ourselves to take over the beautiful houses by white people. Mandela defied those amongst us, which included myself, those that wanted to revenge, whites that was prepared to kill to keep the land, and blacks that was willing to kill to take the land. Our cultures, Madam Speaker, and heritages might be different, but our love for South Africa is the same. We are one nation under God. The ones who was taught racism when they were still wet behind their ears are the same ones today whose eyes get wet when they sing Morena Buluka Sichaba Sayesu. Those that was willing to die in order not to speak the Afrikaans language today are the same ones that sings a blow fan on the Yamal with the same gas. Honourable members, I greet you all during this wonderful period of our democracy. Our democracy is celebrating 30 years of existence. By celebrating our 30 year existence, does it no means mean that the path was easy or smooth? Where we find ourselves have been a road less traveled, a difficult but a much needed road. It was not so long ago when some white people were stocking up on groceries in preparation for war, stocking up on ammunition in preparation for the sure war that was to follow with the release of Nelson Mandela and his comrades. They were not the only ones. Some amongst us prepared themselves to drive white people into the sea. Also, some of which I was part of, prepared ourselves to take over the beautiful houses by white people, which we've admired with a great sense of anger and murmuring under our breath with the words, one day is one day. That day arrived, Madam Speaker, with the release of Nelson Rolihlahla Mandela and all the struggle heroes. Mandela defied those amongst us which included myself, those that wanted to revenge, whites that was prepared to kill to keep the land, and blacks that was willing to kill to take the land. Mandela became a voice of peace and reason. Mandela spoke to all. That message was meant for us as South Africans, the peace message. But it was so big and unavoidable that the world took it in greatly and wholeheartedly. The ones who was taught racism when they were still wet behind their ears are the same ones today whose eyes get wet when they sing Morena Buluka Sichaba Sayesu. Those that was willing to die in order not to speak the Afrikaans language. Today, are the same ones that sings a blow fan on the Yamal with the same gusto at which they fought the Afrikaans language. Our cultures, Madam Speaker, and heritages might be different, but our love for South Africa is the same. We have achieved the miracle. The world still use us as an example, when they speak about people who has put the country above hate and prejudice. The world still speak about us when they speak about people who put the country above everything else in order to attain peace and reach the promised land. We are one nation under God. We are the children of Nelson Mandela. It is not Uhuru yet.
but we will get there. Those that died for our freedom will smile today because their death was not in vain. We have not reached all the things they fought for, but we are very strong on our way. We are a melting pot of different cultures, Madam Speaker. Our canvas is multicolored and beautiful and admirable. The GNU is another testament that we still have the will and potential to find each other when things are difficult and confusing. I want to pay tribute today to everyone who contributed towards this freedom. From those that took up arms to those that fought in song and culture, we are a great nation indeed. I'm proud to be from the Khoi and San people, the people who have contributed. Honorable Minister, uh, there's a point of order. Honorable Skosan. Can the Minister take a question? No. You got your response. Uh, continue, Honorable Minister. I am proud to be from the Khoi and San people. The people who have contributed to the following words to our coat of arms. Diverse people unite. Those are not just ancient words for, borrowed from the Earth's oldest people, which they are. Those words are not just on a coat of arms. They are a call to arms for us to keep fighting to create a South Africa that is indeed truly united in its diversity. It's a daily reminder that we need to reach a point in South Africa where the people of this country will not be defined as black, white, colored, or Indian, or what other label you can fashion. We are being called to fight for a South Africa where we have the same access to opportunities and the same potential to be great, a socially cohesive South Africa. Let's ignore those that want to see us return to the days of segregation and embrace the majority that want to see us prosper, Madam Speaker. We still have huge differences, and that doesn't make us enemies. It makes us human. We are not where we want to be. We are not where we used to be. Our road is not easy, nor short. It's a long walk to freedom. As we have been taught by the greatest person ever born in this earth, Nelson Mandela, and was born on our soil. Oh, how lucky we are. We have achieved the impossible, my fellow South Africans. That is unfortunately not the pinnacle. The pinnacle is sustaining the miracle. This is difficult, but doable, and only achievable by listening to those that we disagree with, embracing those that our past want us to dissociate from, but our future demands of us to embrace each other. We have achieved the impossible indeed. Let me end by saying, Madam Speaker, that it is not an easy feat for someone that was in jail for opposite reasons as Mandela to today address Parliament. This feat doesn't speak of an iota of greatness on my side, but it speaks of the magnanimous greatness of forgiveness of South Africans. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and the hearts of my family and those that support my journey. I intend to pay you back by becoming the greatest advocate for what Mandela stood for. We have achieved what no country on earth has achieved. May God bless you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.